Today, we are going to be doing something very exciting. That's right, today we are doing the most exciting thing ever. We are going fishing. That's right. So yeah, how's that weather doing today? Okay, I'm just kidding. Today's episode isn't going to be that boring. Or at least I hope not anyway. But in all seriousness, we are 100% jumping into some fishing today. More specifically, into the mod Aquaculture. And with this mod here, well, they add a lot of things for fishing. You got your own rods, you can like customize your rods, you can get baits and all that kind of stuff to help increase your chances of getting like fish and stuff. Yeah, there's a lot to this mod. And you can display fish too, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, if we're gonna be going fishing, I feel like we're gonna need to make a fishing shack. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump into a bit of a time lapse here. I'm gonna get some fishing stuff ready, build us a nice little hut, and well, we'll get started. So let's go ahead, let's start it up. And there we go. Now we got everything ready to go and we can start fishing. But before we do that, let me show you around this little hut here that I built. The backside here, the only part you wouldn't have been able to see in that little time lapse there. This here is, well, just kind of a storage area. There's a lot of storage areas here. Very creative. I can think of a lot of things, that is for sure. Yeah, a little bit of a storage area here, and then we got our pathway going up here around to the front. And right here, we just have like a little break area, like a little picnic table here, and yeah, nice little thing there. But if we head on inside, well, we got even more storage up above. Like I said, lots of storage. We got a ladder here. I'd like to believe that they use that to get to the storages. And as you can see, the main part, we got a little fish tank. Just down below here, full of a bunch of fish as you might have guessed and then if we go through here yeah this here just connects to the like chimney up above that i had i kind of felt like i had to have some kind of a uh, chimney in here because the roof seemed a little bit empty so yeah that's what that's about but if we go ahead we go out here well i guess we can start out here by going downstairs to here so we can see it all a little bit better but as you can see we got a lot more storage along the bottom here again lots of storage in this build and then we got these guys kind of working the ground area here. Like this guy's lifting barrels up because, well, barrels of fish, I imagine they would be quite heavy. So they have this little pulley system to help them out. Now, if we head on down over here, this here is where the functionality for us actually starts. So first off, we have the worm barrel here. And basically, I have it hooked up to my uh, refined storage. You can kind of see the exporter there. And basically, it just uh, brings seeds. And then the seeds make worms, and yeah, we get our worms and for like bait and stuff for fishing. And as you might have noticed, the most important part of all of this, the outhouse. Now on the inside, not a whole lot, but oh, oh, sorry, um, well this is awkward. And last but not least, well, we have the dock, and yeah, it is indeed a dock. And we got this guy here fishing on it, so yeah, that's it for the tour. So I have everything we need right here in this crate to get started. So let's go ahead, let's dig in. So first off, I went ahead and made an iron fishing rod. And as you can see, I put mending and unbreaking on it. So that way we can, well, fix it up and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to the fishing rods, there's actually not really any difference whatsoever for like their capabilities of like catching fish and stuff like that. There's only one fishing rod where that does matter. And that right there is a Neptunium fishing rod here. It has Neptune's song. If we hit shift, it says fish are more likely to bite. So that's the only one that has like a special ability. The other ones is just like durability, basically. So I went with iron because in my opinion, I like the looks of it the best. And speaking of looks, we're actually able to customize our fishing rods a bit. So we have this bobber and line here. And we can customize our fishing rod by putting it on our well the fishing rod and as you can see i have this as a blue so you're actually able to go ahead and dye them you just put the bobber in your crafting thing here with whatever color you want and then you're able to dye it now along with customizing it in here well as you can see we have a bait area so we can put our worms in here as well as we have a hook area now personally i'm going with the double hook 
which basically makes it so there is a small chance we can catch two things rather than one. Now each hook has their own basically special ability, so like for example the note block hook I believe makes sound when like the fish is swimming towards your hook so you don't miss it. Extra security I guess. Personally I'm going with a double hook because I like the thought of being able to catch two things at once, so that's what I'm going with. Now I know what some of you might be thinking, fishing is boring, why would you want to fish? Well, although I do agree sitting here is boring, well, let me tell you. The reason why you want to go fishing is for the Neptunium gear here, so basically with the Neptunium gear, there are different effects per thing. So for example, like I said with the fishing rod, fish are more likely to bite, and yeah, as you can see, just a whole lot of goodness, like for example, the hoe here. Filled farmland will stay moist forever. It's so useful. But I think the main thing here would be the armor here. So basically improves your underwater vision, allows you to breathe underwater, makes you weightless underwater, and increases your swim speed. So yeah, there's a few reasons why you might want to go fishing. Now to get all this stuff, you need to get this Neptunium ingot to basically craft it. Now there is a chance that when you're fishing, you will get this chest. It will have the Neptunium, but there's also a chance it could have like some of the gear in here, so may end up getting lucky and getting some of that instead. And I guess one last thing I should probably mention is basically when you're fishing, well, you're going to want to go to different locations to catch different fish because, well, they're biome dependent, so you're not going to be able to catch like obviously puffer fish and stuff like that in a river here. So yeah, go exploring, catch different fish, and all that kind of stuff. Well, that was a lot of explaining. Now let's actually get to some fishing now. And by let's get to some fishing now, I mean I'm going to go ahead and do some fishing off camera because I kind of doubt you guys are going to want to sit here and watch me fish. That'd be very boring. So I'll be right back. I'm fishing for viewers. Got one. Did you all know that chairs are extremely heavy? Check this out. Look at that. I can't even fly. I think we can all agree I've gotten really bored. So I've sat around and I fished for a little bit and I noticed something. So there's actually another mod we can use to do some fishing and I think it's more automated than this. So I'm going to set that up while I sit here and fish. Basically, it is a mod called Water Strainer. So as you can see here, you can catch both fish, junk, and treasures. So hopefully we can use this to also like get the Neptunium chest there. So we can get that nice fancy gear. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's craft all that stuff up and we can have it run in the background. Let's get started. And there we go, we got everything nice and ready to go. Now we just gotta set up our little bin thing here, the worm bin, because this does use a separate bait, so we gotta try and get that. Now I think the best place to set it up is right here, because I always have a ton of extra potatoes coming through here, and you need like basically some kind of fruit it says, and actually it lists it right there. So I have tons of potatoes going through here, so... Probably be a good idea to set it up right here for right now. And I definitely gotta say this worm bin is actually quite a nice decorative block. Definitely gonna use it for that later. Now, I need to be careful here. I'm gonna get zapped. And I think we should be good once we add this. We should start getting some potatoes going through here, hopefully. Okay, we should slowly get- there we go. There's some potatoes. Nice. Yeah, we should start getting some worms now. And there we go, first bit of worms and fertilizer. I'm gonna assume this is basically just bone meal. That's what I'm gonna assume, but we got our worms, so... Yeah, let's go set up the other stuff here, the strainer base. Alright, so I got the strainer bases all set up. Now, I did have them kind of bunched together there at first, but it seems like that gives you a bit of a penalty. It had like a bonus efficiency of like minus 15 and then the center one had like minus 30. That gives you a bit of a debuff, I guess, or penalty if you put them close together. So I guess spread them out. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's put these things in them. Yeah, just like that. All right, cool. And now we can use our worms. How does this work exactly? Oh, you got to put them in here. I should probably make one of these for the others as well. I'm going to do that real quick. Oh. Yeah, I think that's all you needed for this. No problems detected, should be good to go. 
yeah just gonna wait around for a bit get some bait i'm also gonna throw some of these in because basically what the bait pot does is decreases the bait consumption there so a little bit of a useful thing to have there yeah i'm gonna sit around and wait get that stuff ready and just do some fishing and i'll be right back a lot of fishing later and guess what I caught myself a new fancy pair of boots. That's right. Look at those things. Beautiful. But yes, in all seriousness, I did do a lot of fishing and I caught a grand total of two of those Neptune's bounties there. So yeah, not a whole lot, but you know what? Good enough. Good enough. Now I will say I did have to uh, change up a few things to catch those. Like I fished for quite a while before I actually end up getting those two. So... Yeah, basically what I did was I made these potions here, the good juju or whatever it's called, and I also put a gold hook on my fishing rod. All of that just to increase the luck basically, so yeah, I found that definitely helped out. After I started using both, I ended up getting the two uh, Neptune's bounties there. Before that, I probably fished for a good, like, maybe an hour and didn't get them, so yeah, luck definitely helps. I also caught a message in a bottle. Um, lock boxes here and I'll go ahead and take these out. I also got this empty jar but I don't really think that's used for anything. Let's go on over here. Let's open these things up. All right let's go ahead. Let's open up the message in a bottle here first. Let's see what this is. Property of Creeper Cola. Okay so I just put like a message in chat. That's kind of neat so like little hidden messages and stuff. Next up we got all these lock boxes. So I got a total of three of these so... Let's see, we got some redstone, okay, a piece of paper, and a book. Holy crap, so amazing. All right, now time for the actual good ones, or the ones I hope will be good. So we got the two Neptune's bounties, so let's go ahead and place those down. Oh, look at that, we got the lagging, so that was... Makes you weightless underwater, so okay, that's cool. And in the other one, we got a pickaxe, nice. Nice. So we can mine underwater without a penalty. So basically, with this here, you know how... Well, I, th I think you know what it means. See how that's slow? Well, whoa, that's a lot faster than I thought it'd be. Holy crap. All right. Yeah, I have no idea what the pants do. It doesn't make you weightless underwater, but I don't really notice a difference. Well, I guess if you guys know what the pants do, let me know because, yeah, I don't really notice a difference from swimming around and stuff. So, yeah, no idea what they do, but that pickaxe is definitely a lot faster than a normal pickaxe. So that is pretty awesome. But at least, even though I don't know what the pants do, at least they look fancy. So at least they got that going for them. And we also got these nice new chests, so we can actually keep these and just use them as chests and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Now, one thing I should probably mention is I actually went ahead and did some fishing over in the ocean there just to kind of see how diverse the fish are. And what I found out is basically, yeah, it is very diverse. So this is all the stuff I caught here in the river, and I guess it'd be a mix with acacia because I don't know where the river begins and where the acacia biome starts here. So mix of both of those there. And this is what I got in the ocean. The modded fish, they're biome dependent. But as you can see, like all the vanilla fish, they don't care. They go wherever they want to go, those tough little buggers. But yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and share that with you. Just to let you guys know, vanilla fish, they're tough. You can find them everywhere. And now that we got the Neptune's bounty, I think that's a good place to call it for today. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, keep having fun everybody. See ya!